Hi everybody, Debbie Carberry here from debbiecarberry.com.au and today I want to talk to you about shadow comforts. I think that some people might know what that is but there's many 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 of us who actually have no clue what shadow comforts are. Shadow comforts are kind of like ways of self-soothing but they're not really healthy. So for example uh, a shadow of comfort might be you've had a really difficult day, you come home and you decide you're going to have a biscuit. Nothing wrong with that, it's a bit soothing, it's not a problem. But then you go, you know what, that biscuit was great, I might actually eat the entire packet. And so gone are the, or the entire packet of biscuits. That's a shadow of comfort, it feels good. Um, we might come home and go, I would love a glass of wine. Um, we have a glass of wine, but the idea is to drink to the point of disconnecting from some of the stress, anxiety, upset, or whatever has gone on in your day. So it's not about enjoying a glass of wine with a meal or using it as something to sort of celebrate, more as an actual way of soothing ourselves. The shadow comforts actually are not great because generally speaking, when we do them, we don't feel great. So it's quite easy to be able to tell when you're using a shadow comfort versus when you're using self-care. Like I said, one piece of chocolate, self-care as far as I'm concerned. Um, one glass of wine, absolutely self-care if it's a really nice glass of wine. But it's when we use these things and we use them to excess so that the, the, the outcome of that is that we don't feel good about ourselves. So on top of having a stressful day, on top of doing something that we thought would be comforting, we now feel really negative about ourselves on top of that. To avoid using shadow comforts, you need to kind of get some space between what you're feeling and what you do next. And I guess the best way of doing that is pausing. So when you get home from work and you think, my God, I just want a packet of chips, stop and think for a second, okay, what is it that I actually need right now? Like, am I hungry? Do I actually need to eat something? Am I just really stressed out because my day has just been really overwhelming? And maybe just pause and think, what could I do right now that would be better for me? Something that is in actual fact self-soothing. Could I go for a walk? Um, could I go do some exercise? Could I do some breathing? You know, breathing is our friend. Like breathing is such a good idea um, and can be very soothing. Breathing can actually bring your blood pressure down if you do square breathing. You know, you breathe in for four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four. And breathing like that is actually shown to bring down your blood pressure. So that can be a really great way of calming yourself down after a big day. Having a ritual, you know, have a ritual on the way home from work that helps you slowly unwind and unravel. I remember many years ago I had um, a quite a big drive home from work every day and I had a very stressful job. Um, and so on my way home, I would open my car windows and I would literally imagine myself throwing my daily stuff out of the window as I was driving away, so I was leaving it behind me. Um, so rituals like that can be really, really helpful. So watch out for your shadow comforts and try self-care instead. Um, that's me for today. If you would like to learn more about my work, you can do that on my website at debbiecarberry.com.au. You'll find lots of free information there, articles I've written, short courses that are quite inexpensive. Also, I work one-on-one -on -one with people. Um, and in addition to that, I have an online relationships course. So if you're interested in any of those, pop on over to my website. Thanks, guys. Bye.